welcome to Mara Makes. Growing up, I had a lot of strong female influences in my life, and one of them is a woman named Luba who helped raise me. Throughout my childhood, Luba made the most incredible Russian cuisine, and one of my absolute favorite, favorite things she made for me when I was little were her cheese blintzes. Even to this day, when my husband and I go visit her in Chicago, she makes an incredible Russian feast and she makes an insane amount of cheese blintzes so I can take them home with me. They're sweet and savory, salty and crunchy on the outside, creamy, ooey gooey on the inside, almost like a Russian cheese Danish. They're incredible. I eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. They're awesome. And I have a treat for you today because Luba gave me the recipe and I absolutely cannot wait to share it with you guys. All right. Let's get started. So for this recipe, we only need six ingredients plus the olive oil to fry the blintzes in. So we have our farmer's cheese, which I actually made from scratch and if you guys are interested I'm happy to do another video on how I did that otherwise you can definitely buy it at the grocery store again farmers cheese I have about a little shy of four cups here then I have some sugar salt golden raisins you can use regular raisins I happen to have golden ones either work and one egg and then a pack of I think these are ten soft taco size flour tortillas and you want to get the thin ones so not the thicker flour tortillas the thin ones luba uses a brand called azteca i think um i here have the mission ones but again as long as they're thin and soft flour tortillas you're fine they'll work so those are our ingredients as far as the measurements for the sugar and salt I'm going to measure them as I go. When I talked to Luba, she's made this thousands of times in her life. There's not really a set of measurements. You kind of just make it to taste. But because I know a lot of you out there would appreciate having certain measurements to go by, I'm going to measure them as I make it. I'll let you know what I end up doing for final measurements. Our first step is we're going to take the tortillas and cut them in half. And really simple, literally in half. Does not need to be exact science, just cut them in half, all right? Now I'm going to set them aside and we're gonna use them in a second. Nice, fluffy, soft tortillas. And this is what I mean by thin. See, they're not the thicker tortillas, they're really pretty thin. That's what's most important for this particular recipe. Now I'm gonna take my farmer's cheese. The next step is we're gonna mix in our sugar, salt, and raisins before we mix in our egg. The sugar and salt really do come down to personal preference. You want to put those in before the egg because obviously once you put in the egg, you can't really taste it. So I'm gonna start with the sugar and I'm gonna start with two tablespoons. So I've got one here, two. All right, two tablespoons of sugar and I'm gonna mix this in. Now, when you fry up the blintzes, this farmer's cheese is gonna melt and get really creamy. So I'm just gonna mix this up really well because you wanna get the sugar granules mixed in with this cheese so that you don't just get a big clump of sugar in one blintz and not in the others. That's pretty sweet. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon. Okay. So this is now three tablespoons of sugar. Now I'm gonna move on to the salt. Again, same thing. I'm gonna measure so I know what I end up with. So there's one eighth. I know I'm gonna use more than that. So there's one fourth. All right, so there's half a teaspoon. Let's see how we like that. So really stir this up again. You really, really, really want to mix it well. Try it. I think I'm going to add one more fourth of a teaspoon. Here's one eighth. 
one eighth. So that's six eighths, so that's three fourths of a teaspoon. Now we're going to add our raisins. I have half a cup of raisins, and let's add them in, okay? Remember, your raisins are going to add a lot of sweetness. So when you're adding your sugar, just keep that in mind. So at this point, we have three tablespoons of sugar and three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt and half a cup of raisins. This is a perfect amount of raisins. See how it's almost like chocolate chips in cookie dough, right? We've got a good amount because you want a bunch of raisins in every blends, but we don't have so many that there's more raisins than cheese. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in my egg. Now we're done adding in our sugar salt. Mix in your egg. You just wanna blend it until the yellow is all mixed in completely. The egg is kind of like a binder. It adds a creaminess. You wanna get this nice kind of creamy yellow color. So just mix it until the egg is blended into the cheese. You'll know it's ready when it turns this kind of pale, creamy color, almost like the color of butter. Before when we started, it was kind of crumbly, almost like a feta. Now it's really smooth. When you can almost scoop it like cookie dough, that's when you know you're done. All right, so what you're gonna do is heat your oil on your pan. I'm using an olive oil, which is what Luba uses most of the time, but she mentioned that you could also use avocado oil or vegetable oil, but I'm gonna go with olive oil since that's what the master uses. So I'm just gonna put a little drizzle. Remember you're frying them, so you're gonna put a little bit more oil than you normally would if you're just sauteing something. You really wanna give them that nice golden color. You want your heat to be on medium. So while this is heating up, I am now gonna take one of my half tortillas, and I'm just gonna keep them in a little stack here, and I'm gonna fill them as is. So you're gonna take about a spoonful of the filling and pat it down on one half, but towards the corner of the tortilla wrap, and then you're just gonna fold it up. Fold, press down. If any filling comes out, you can tuck it in. Fold, press down, fold, press down. Now you're gonna have this little flappy seam at the end that doesn't seem like it'll stick. Trust me, when you put it on the pan, it'll stick. So we're gonna do three and then fry them up. Now our oil should be done, or heated I mean. See it's nice and shiny. It's kind of shimmering. That's when you know it's ready. So remember, you're gonna place the blintzes seam side down. There's one, you can kind of hear it sizzling. There's two. Number three. All right, you're gonna fry them until they're a nice golden brown on both sides. I don't really time it, to be honest. I really just check them about a minute to two minutes per side. So it's kind of like when you make the filling. It's not an exact science. When it's golden brown, it's ready to be flipped to the other side. Do remember that there is raw egg in the batter. So when you're doing other things, just make sure you wash your hands after you're touching the batter. Just gonna wash my hands really quickly. All right, so, beautiful. This is the exact color we want. So that was about two minutes. Beautiful, that is exactly what you want them to look like. And you can kind of press down and see how the seam stays. Now on this, this little guy here, the seam doesn't want to stay, but as it cools, it will. But this little guy, that's exactly what you want, see? The edge of the tortilla just naturally kind of seals shut with the oil and the heat. And now you can always check it by taking a peek underneath. The second side usually tends to, to brown a little bit quicker than the first. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, these are basically done. Take one more little peek. Yeah, these are done. And I'm just gonna load my blintzes onto this plate and we're gonna try them. All right, so here are our delicious blintzes, or should I say Luba's delicious blintzes. As you can tell, there's this gorgeous 
brown, golden color. You can see it's crunchy. And then the cheese on the inside is soft, melty, gooey. Like I said, it, it really is almost like this Russian Danish. My blintzes will never quite be as good as Luba's, but I think she'll be pretty proud that I tried. Okay, I'm ready to try it. Mmm. I love the contrast of the crunch of the tortilla shell with the creaminess of the inside, and then the raisins give this kind of fun added texture that you're not really expecting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This tastes like home. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, share, and if you've gone ahead and tried the recipe, comment below. I'd love to hear how it turned out for you. See you next time on Mara Makes. Thank you.